Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be really quick, and this is just simply how to flash TH3D's firmware to your Anet E12. So back in where we were here after we extracted the firmware, we had to go and do firmware TH3D UF configuration.h, and here under the Anet printer options, we had to select E12 by uncommenting this line and uncommenting the line for the one with the rotary controller for the display. After this, we're going to go back out to the main and open firmware windows dot map. Now this is going to open up the portable IDE and this is almost as simple as flashing for the A8. So we're going to go to the tools, board, make sure you're on Anet V1.0. Make sure your COM port is the correct one. So if you need to unplug this, check your COM ports, plug it back in and check your COM ports again, just to make sure. Mine happens to be COM3. I have some other things currently plugged in too. So, uh, but it is COM3 for me. If you want, you can hit get board info. It will say unknown board. That's fine. I happen to know it's the right one, but just make sure you get the right one here. And then here under programmer, you want uh, should I even try and say this? AVRISP Mark II, which would be the typical programmer here. Not Arduino's ISP. You want this one right here. Now we're not going to hit burn boot bootloader. We did that in the last video. All we're going to do here first is we're going to go verify. So this is going to verify the build, make sure everything works first, and that there's no complaints. If everything's good and it shows here, then we'll go ahead and hit upload and we'll let that finish uploading to the device. Okay, so the compile is finished. Looks like everything worked just fine. Now we're going to go ahead and go back up here and hit upload. This will do a recompile and then upload the project directly to the main board for the printer. Now, once everything's done here, it will say uploading there. Now, when it says done uploading, check your screen and make sure that it reboots, shows the TH3D logo, and everything works. If you see the logo and you get to the main screen, congratulations, it's worked for you. If it didn't, make sure to go back and check your settings under tools. Make sure your board, your port, and your programmer are all correct. And there we go. Everything has been fully uploaded. The machine has rebooted. It shows Marlin and it shows the firmware and also shows now the main screen. It looks as though everything is working to me. And to update later, you don't need to reflash the bootloader. Remember I said in the last video that that was a one-time thing. All you have to do now is go back and do the steps in this video for the new firmware and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. It's actually quite simple. I, I really like this. I like the features of this firmware much better and I'm going to start testing this out and see how much better I can go. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by TH3D. Everything that I've done so far, all the parts that I've bought came out of my own pocket. So keep that in mind. I will put a link to TH3D's website down in the description. And with that guys, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, if you'd like to go order something from their site, such as the programmer, uh, maybe you want some easy ABL bed leveling components or something, go ahead and hit them up. I will see you guys in another video. I'm not sure what's coming next, but we're probably going to do some test prints. So we'll be testing that out on the new firmware here, and I need to update the firmware on my A8. So with that, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that like and bell notification buttons, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.